All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to talk about how to import WebMs and export them from Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe Media Encoder. So normally when you attempt to import some WebM footage into Premiere, you get this annoying little pop-up that says, hey, file import failure, cannot import the video footage that's a WebM. Sorry, we, we don't support this file format. So in order to get this to actually behave and properly import into Premiere and to be able to be used in a media encoder, you're going to need to install a driver. So the driver in question is made by this group called fnordware.com, and they make a WebM driver that for both Mac and Windows that allows you to import and export your WebM files through Premiere Pro and Adobe Media Encoder. Now it's worth noting that we're currently in 2021 and this hasn't been updated since June 2017. So your mileage will vary when you're trying to use this software on newer versions of Premiere. It kind of works. It's kind of a little hinky. So just take it with a grain of salt. So go ahead and download a copy of this. I'm just going to download the Windows version to my big old bin of stuff in uh, my downloads folder. And once we're done first, obviously shut down Premiere Pro so that it's not open when you're trying to install this because that can cause some hiccups and issues. And then go ahead and click on the installer at the bottom of the download section of your browser. Give it permissions that it needs, all that good stuff and you should be good to go. It only takes a moment to fully install. Then just boot Premiere Pro back up and you should be able to then import all of your WebMs into the software so that you can use them. All right, so now that Premiere Pro is back open, let's go ahead and once again try to import the coding video footage. So now you see, instead of giving us an error window immediately, it gives us the import files window. And then after a moment, it should fully import your video here with its audio and everything. And now you can see it's ripped and ready to go. You can start using it. And then if you want to export a WebM file, they have support for that here. If you go into your media export settings and go to format in the upper right hand corner, you can see down here at the bottom, there is the option to export this video as a WebM. And here's all of the different quality control settings that you can play with just like any other video format. And then you can export that into Adobe Media Encoder, and then you can then see it start to do its thing and export your videos. Now. So yeah, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you can import and export WebM video files through Premiere using FNord's WebM driver. I will once again say your mileage is 100% going to vary when using this tool. I've already been experiencing when reinstalling it to use in 2021, I've experienced some lag, some freezing, and some hiccups when converting videos and using videos and all that stuff. I mean, you can kind of see it in the background right now. So, you know, if this is a problem, just uninstall it. And when you go to uninstall this particular program, if you're having problems with it, you can find it listed as WebM for Premiere somewhere at the bottom of your programs list. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been how you can use and work with your WebM files in Premiere Pro. Honestly, probably better off right now unless this stuff gets updated or another driver comes along grabbing your video converter of choice from another third party and using it to convert your WebMs to something a little bit easier to manage like MP4 videos, which are supported by pretty much everything. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.